Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah? What else? Do you want to help me clean the kitchen? She just wants to be helped. Hi, I'm Tessa with the Good Housekeeping video team. I have a really messy kitchen because I'm a really messy person and I hate cleaning it. But since I'm locked at home in this time of craziness, what else is there to do than clean your kitchen? So here I am cleaning my kitchen for all of you at home. There are some things that I don't think I know how to clean very well, so I will be consulting Miss Carolyn Forte, Good Housekeeping's Queen of Clean, Director of Home Appliances and Cleaning Products Lab here at Good Housekeeping. She knows everything there is to know about cleaning, and I am for sure gonna video call her and ask her all my questions. I need help with sponges. I need help with places that I can't reach that I know are really dirty. Stay tuned and you can watch me clean my whole kitchen. Here I am starting to tackle the mountain of dishes I have and I realize I have one too many sponges that I don't know what to do with, so I think it's time to call Carolyn. Hi Carolyn. Tessa, how are you? I'm good. I'm staying clean. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I know we're all kind of tucked away and trapped up in here. So got to do the best you can, but we're doing well. Thanks. It's very crazy. Um, yeah. yeah. So I've been cleaning my kitchen like a crazy person, like scrubbing everything and everywhere. And I do actually have some questions. Okay. The questions that I right. have. I mean, that's from. a good time to get that done. You know, everybody's in the cleaning mode, so you know it's a good time to tackle the things you don't normally get to. I did a lot of dishes by hand because I okay. I don't have a dishwasher because okay. I have a tiny apartment with no space. Is there any way to make doing dishes by hand any less? any more tolerable. You have to do it by hand. So it's, you know, it, there's only so much um, work that, you know, you can take out of it. You have to do the scrubbing, but um, there are kind, kind of a few things that you can keep in mind. One is um, if you are cooking a big meal and you have some pans that are kind of, you know, crusty and grimy, try to soak those while you're eating. So that way, you know, there's less scrubbing to do later on. Um, if you can line any of your roasting pans or anything with aluminum foil before you roast or bake or, or broil, um, you can just toss that away. So that makes it a lot cleaner. You know, you want to wash the lightly soiled things first. So like wash your glasses first and then wash the flatware and then go to the dishes and then finish up with the pots and pans because you're, you'll you get more um, own fat of your dish suds and um, the sponge and the brushes will be less greasy if you kind of work in that progression. So, mm -hmm. you know, that might be something. Um, sometimes what I like to do is to keep from cleaning up is if I'm maybe shredding some cheese or I'm cutting up some vegetables, instead of putting them in a bowl, I'll put them on a piece of wax paper. And then, you know, while I'm waiting to add them to my mix and then before I, um, then I can just toss that away and don't have to clean it. So I don't know why I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I think it's all about kind of cutting down the number of things you have to wash, hopefully, yeah. and, um, you know, making them as less. Um, onerous to clean and scrub as possible. Should I be using like a regular squishy sponge for dishes or I'm guessing ones with bristles are probably easier to get like stuff that's stuck mm -hmm. on there, but I, I don't know what to do. I need help with okay. sponges. <laughs> well, for just regular washing, you know, of, of regular dishes and glasses, either a cellulose sponge or a, a synthetic sponge is fine. I mean, some people like the scrubby sponges because they have the scrubby side and you can use those if you come across any little stuck on thing. I have this like black sponge. Oh, that one. I know what that is. <laughs> yeah. And then I also got your, this microfiber. Okay. Okay. I know you like. <laughs> and then I have these ones. This one I think might be a toilet brush. I'm not sure. Well, that's, I don't think that's a, uh, that looks a little small. I think that's a bottle brush. Oh, brush. Oh. Yeah. I, this one. I like this one. That's the dish brush. That's the dish I, brush. I use that. <laughs> the black one was just um, has that kind of like soft abrasive side. So that's more for cookbook wear. Those, and it kind of gives you an idea. It's black. It's, you know, kind of greasy, grimy, those kinds of things. So, so for stained cookware, pots and pans, that's really what that one's for. 
the um, combination sponge and microfiber cloth that you have. You can use that for washing. You can use that for the countertops too. So you don't necessarily need to use it just for dishes, but because it's microfiber, um, you know, it'll it'll pick up spills, it'll pick up grease, um, you can clean with it. So you might even want to just keep that, you know, keep something separate for your countertops, for your cooktop, um, and then use the other sponges for just cleaning your dishes. When I clean my counters, I feel like I'm just using paper towels and I don't want to waste the paper towels. So right. what's right. an alternative to that? I think microfiber cloths are really good. Yeah. yeah. And um, there are those small sponge, you know, the small microfiber combination sponges like you have. Um, there's all, tons of different microfiber cloths around there. So um, I think they're really good. Microfiber has, uh, it's different from regular cotton. So it's better than a cotton rag because mm -hmm. it's got, it's super absorbent. Got, it's got lots of little um, fiber ends that pick up grease and hold on to it. So, um, you know, it's good for picking up spills and it's good for cleaning. And you can use it, you can even use them without any cleaning solution. So you can use them with plain water if you want and they clean just as well. So I would recommend those. I know there's a trick to disinfect your sponges by putting it in the microwave or something, you know, and you like yeah. cook it for a minute or something. I don't have a microwave. Okay. I just, I don't have one, but is there a way to disinfect sponges without a microwave? Yes, actually, you know, you can do it in the microwave. That's not my favorite method because you have to be really careful. Uh, what you have to do is you have to um, make sure the sponge is really wet because if you don't put it in wet enough, the sponge could catch fire in the microwave. So oh, okay. it's not really, like I said, it does work and we have tested it at Good Housekeeping, but not my favorite. I think it's easier to just mix up a solution of like three tablespoons of bleach, chlorine bleach, um, with a quart of water, and then soak it for five minutes. So just, you know, get one of your little bowls or dishes, mix it up, put the, put the bleach solution in the dish, put the sponge in, kind of squish it through so the solution gets all through the sponge, let it sit for five minutes and you're good to go. So, so if you do want to disinfect your countertops or anything else, especially after you've cut raw meat or whatever, you really do need to use a product that does um, have disinfecting properties that claims to disinfect mm -hmm. with the EPA to kill bacteria and viruses. And, you know, you should use it according to the directions and let it sit. So um, like I said, dish soap is good um, and it's great grease cutter, but it won't disinfect. Warm soapy water gets rid of a lot of germs too. So. You know, it's not just about disinfecting, it's about washing them away. Just like washing your hands. Okay. Yeah. Do that. It sounds like I need to make a little bath in my sink and just like put all <laughs> yeah, my stuff put in. in. Yeah. Put everything in, yep. That'd be good. Do you have any tips on keeping Tupperware's cabinets organized? Because um, I, I think we all have that. I mean, I, you know, I stack them by size, obviously. You know, the biggest ones on the bottom, the smaller ones inside. Um, what works for me, is that I then, I stack all the lids like on one side of the cabinet. So what I'll do is I'll put the lids in size order and then I'll put the big bowls to hold up the lids against the cabinet. But they have little holders that you can clip things to or little little caddies that you can, you know, kind of in, um, install inside your cabinets to hang the lids from. I don't have that kind of room. So I just stack them up by size and hope for the best. And every once in a while they come tumbling out. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta figure out a better way to store them. Just there, like are, there are racks. You can buy yeah. racks. You can buy organizers. Um, lots of uh, plastic storageware now comes where you can attach the lid to the bottom of the of the container. So I mean, if you buy new ones, you might want to buy those because then you can store the lids and the containers together. Carolyn, if that helps. I think those are all my questions that I came across. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know any of those answers. Oh, Thank good. you. Well, hopefully now I know you, you'll. Uh, It'll be helpful and you can kind of breeze through your kitchen cleaning a little quicker and easier. Of course. I feel so lucky to uh, just get on a call with you the next Anytime. time. <laughs> Anytime. Great. All right. She's finally done. I got all my things washed and put away. Took a long time. Check out the stove though. So clean, so fresh. I got in there. You don't realize how dirty your stove is until you take it apart and see all the crumbs inside, which are now clean. And check out this counter space. Nice. 
I'm just gonna wash this, my dishwasher, my dish holder. There are my sponges that I gave a little bath, they're chilling in there. And all this counter space now. Well, there's my kitchen. It took two days to clean because who cleans kitchens in one day? I just wanna stay in here because it feels so nice and so clean. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what you wanna see us clean next and like and subscribe to GH.